people really need to put their mind around what uh, information economy is. The information economy is completely different from the asset-based economy. The asset-based economy is an economy where if you have something, I can't have the same thing because it is one thing. But information is different. I can have information. I get more value by sharing that information. Nothing prevents me from transmitting that information and so on. As a first step, Rwanda undertook a digitization process of its education curriculum. This was meant to kickstart the process of making ICT the core in providing education in the country. So we must understand how technology is opening up new opportunity and what we can do to prepare for it. During periods of great technological change, such as this one, success belongs to those who can innovate and those who seize their available opportunities. After the One Laptop Per Child initiative was successfully launched in 2012, private investors are now coming on board to elevate the status of education in the country. Millicom, the international telecommunications and media company, recently launched its EduMe English service, a low-cost mobile English language learning course to mobile customers by subscription or on demand. On average, especially here in Kigali, for example, an average person is uh, actually spending around 25,000 Rwandan francs per month to have a teacher that ex uh, explains English. Whereas instead here, with our mobile course, with 800 francs per month, you are able to have a monthly subscription with one lesson a day. So you can understand that the need is there. We try to target the entire population, and hence mobile can actually satisfy this need. We are talking about schools accessing digital contents. Uh, a few courses have been digitized so far, but by that time, right from primary, even preschool to university, all courses need to be digitized so that they can be accessed anywhere, anytime. Now in a bid to better explain itself and in line with the economic development and poverty reduction strategy, Rwanda has also launched the Rwandapedia. This is its own version of the Wikipedia and it will give cultural and historical information that will allow kids like this who have embraced ICT in education to get more comprehensive knowledge on their country. Scarcity of electricity has also not hindered Rwanda from propelling its education sector to greater heights. Electronic giant Samsung Electronics East Africa launched a solar power internet school, SPIS, in eastern Rwanda and a smart school in northern Rwanda. The project focuses on the development of ICT infrastructure, professional development and management of the education sector in the country. Before getting uh, this uh, ICT here, we didn't see or know and have uh, the notion about ICT. But after getting them, the students started by learning how to use machines, how to make uh, uh, such uh, activities in the, by using machines, how to, to check or to, to search some lessons by using ICT. That's why here, uh, after getting ICT, we saw that uh, it was an, uh, an improvement. It was an improvement, uh, specifically in the teaching and the learning process. The scheme that uh, jointly we've launched uh, between the Minister of ICT and Youth and the Minister of Education is connect a school, you connect a community. So those laptops and other tools that uh, are being deployed uh, by the government or others in those remote places, rural areas, should be shared. Those are shared facilities. But for some reason, those who hold the key of those facilities, they tend to look at them as some kind of privilege uh, instead of opening them. Samsung, in delivering this, has partnered with Intel to provide pre-installed educational content on the servers. In addition to this, local curriculum will also be installed. What is left to be done uh, here is uh, to, to give us uh, more workshops 
uh, regarding to those machines, how we can use it, smart running, to know or to, to master well the, the program of uh, classroom management. We are currently focusing on B2C, which is trying to target customers, but uh, there's also a, a need which is to train a higher level of individuals, such as teachers, for example, or tutors, trainers, which is, I would say, more B2B. These people would then, uh, how do you say, spread the education that they get from the technology. This can effectively help and have an impact on education, so training the trainers would be the next step. With the aim of supporting the utilization of computer-aided design in teaching technical subjects, distribution of laptops with SOLIDWORKS software to pilot IPRCs and technical secondary schools has been carried out. Rwanda has also been used as a blueprint for other partnerships to follow. Cambridge-based online education non-profit EDX is partnering with Facebook, other companies and the government of Rwanda to launch Social Edu, a pilot initiative that will give students free access to a social learning platform via internet-enabled mobile devices. We are moving to, from a situation where the computer to students ratio in secondary school, for instance, is still 1 to 40. We need to move that ratio to at least 1 to 7 by 2018, not 2020. In primary school, we've deployed uh, up to uh, about 200,000 uh, one laptop per child. We have a target of 700,000 by 2018. We are talking about 10,000 teachers trained to use IT. By 2018, we are talking about all teachers. We are talking about uh, students in universities. Some of them don't have their personal tools. And as a result, universities don't go digital fully. So by 2018, we are talking about every student in a university, every teacher from primary to, to tertiary uh, education be connected to broadband with their personal devices.